Hello everyone, I am Shada Shaurav and welcome to Sada Learning Hub. Today's session we are going to learn generic bounded types. Generic bounded types. We can bound the type of parameter for a particular range by using the extends keyword such type of call, such type is called bounded types. Here we can use bounded types parameters for a particular range of particular range by using extends keyword such types called bounded types now i can show one example here this is the class test it takes t whenever we are creating an object of t1 with the particular type automatically it replaces the t with the that class name here this first statement it replaces with the t as a integer and the second statement the t as a string here as the type parameter we can pass any type and there are no restrictions hence it is unbounded type if you are seeing the second example sorry here 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 as the type parameter we can pass any type and there are no restrictions hence there is unbounded types next i am going with the second example here i am creating a class test the t is extends from the t is extends x if x is a class then as a type parameter we can pass either x or its child classes if x is if x is a class then as a type parameter we can pass either x or its child classes if x is an interface then as a type parameter we can pass either x or its an implementation classes now i can show some examples here i can show some examples here see example 1 this is an example i am creating a class this is the class test class this t is extends from the number now i am creating an object class object of test class i am giving a i am giving the type parameter integer why if you are giving the integer integer is extends from the number yes number is the super of integer that's why this statement is true the object is created successfully whenever we are creating the second one we are give, we are passing the string here string extends number no it's a false that's why it is an invalid statement whenever we are compiling this program it gives the compile time error type parameter java dot lang dot string is not within within its bounds why because number is in the bound of integer is in the bound of number string is not in the bound of number that's why this line is invalid next i am going to discuss one more example here now i am creating a class test i am creating a type parameter extends runnable interface now i am creating a main class in this main class i am creating a object object of test class here i am passing type parameter is t now t is extends for, extends from runnable yes it is true t is extends from runnable it's a true its object creator successfully whenever we are executing whenever we are compiling this program it gives the error why because here type parameter is string this string is extends from runnable no it's a false now it gives the invalid whenever we are compiling this program it gives the compile time error type parameter java dot lang dot string is not within the within its bounds that's why why because it is a string string is not extends from the runnable that's why it is not in the bound we can't define the bounded types by using the implements and super keywords we cannot define bounded types by using the implements and the super keywords means like this 
it's not possible it's only possible extends keyword it's not possible to uh, define the bounds keyword by using implements and the super keywords but implements keyword purpose we can replace with extend keywords as the type parameter we can use any valid java identifier but it conversion is used to t always now if you see this one if you see this one this is the x if you see this one this is the this one so the learning hub we can pass any number of type parameters need not need not be one we can pass it the any number of type parameters in generics if you see this one here here i am passing only one type parameter here also i am passing only one type parameter now if you see here i am passing two type parameters one is key value key type and another here i am passing hash map this is the hash map this is a hash map i am passing the two type parameters one is the key type well key type second one is the value type now whenever i am creating the hash map object i am passing the type parameters what is the key type parameters and what is the value type parameters i am passing the key type parameter is integer and value type parameter as a string next we can define bounded types even even in the combination also we can define the bounded types even in the combination also see here previous what you are done here we are done the t extends only number we can there is a chance to define the combination of also here we are defining number under runnable there is a two combinations it is also possible to define the type parameters in the generics as the type parameter we can pass any type which extends number class and implements runnable interface if you see here we can pass it any uh, any we can pass it uh, we can pass the type parameters which extends from the number and implements from the runnable interface if you see the second example this is the one more example this is the one more example i am creating a class test t t is extends number and runnable and comparable this is also possible to do now see i am creating a one more thing here class test t extends number and string it is invalid why because we can't extend more than one class at a time similarly inheritance there is no chance to extend more than one class in the same way here type parameter is not possible to extend more than one class that's why this is invalid here number is a class and also string is the class it's not possible to extend more than one class that is a it's a invalid next i'm going the one more example here i'm creating a one thing t extends runnable and comparable here it's possible why because these two are the interfaces these two are not classes we can extends more than one at a time we can extend the more than one interfaces at a time we cannot extend the more than one classes at a time it is invalid it is a valid why because this is invalid why these two are the classes this is valid why these two are the interfaces if you come to the here class test t extends runnable under the number it's also invalid why because we have to take first class followed by the interface we need to take first class followed by the interface that's why it is not a valid see finally these are the generic bounded types these are all the generic bounded types we can't extend more than one class at a time and 
we have to take first class followed by the interface and at the type parameter we can pass any type which extends number class and implements runnable interface we can define bounded types even in the combination also we can pass any number of type parameters need not be one need not be one finally bounded types means we can bound the type parameter for a particular range by using the extends keyword such types are called bounded types it's not possible to use the implements and the super keywords in place of extends thank you so much watching this video hope this lesson helpful to you keep watching our lessons keep writing to us do not forget subscribe our channel Sadot Learning Hub because we have many sessions that would help you to develop our skills and I will be back soon till then you take care bye bye.